problem, I mean, with, uh, with the so-called fake news, I mean, it, it's huge. And it's a problem of trust, first of all. I mean, do you trust the source of, uh, of the information? Do you trust the provider of the information? It's not, there's no easy recipe. If there would be an easy recipe, it would be nearly applied. I mean, the problem is that the, uh, uh, the source, I mean, has to gain some trust and as well, I mean, what uh, I can trust or what people can trust, I mean, might not necessarily be what other people can trust. So, you know, my uh, source of information, my trusted source of information might be somebody else's untrusted source of information and vice versa. So it's, it's, uh, it's really a, a problem of, of, of point of view uh, and of perspective. On the other hand, I mean, when there is clearly some, clearly obviously fake news, which, you know, has been proven false, um, it's very hard anyway to think about mechanisms, automatic mechanisms, in order to avoid that. I think one of the main solutions can be education. So education on a large scale, I mean, and explain to uh, everybody, not only to the most tech-savvy people, uh, what actually, uh, how to distinguish, I mean, the good information from bad information, and to uh, uh, basically uh, uh, help them everybody in the population so not to have digital divide between the people that know how to uh, distinguish I mean, fake uh, to real news. So education to me is number one. And number two, I mean, uh, as I said, find an automatic uh, way of even trusting the different sources, although, I mean, uh, we know that the bad people are smart. So, I mean, in the moment when a source, I mean, is became untrusted, they will simply change, I mean, the, the, the source of the information. So then it became then just neutral because it's been not proven fake or, or real. So then it's, it's really hard, I mean, to, uh, uh, in a sense, to stop. I mean, this one. Of course, I mean, we can think about something more, more drastic and global, but I think we will go more than towards, I wouldn't say dictatorship of the internet, uh, for instance, if you exclude uh, countries or, or, uh, or uh, AS, autonomous system, I mean, that in the past, I mean, hosted, I mean, some of these uh, uh, fake news sites or, or fake news uh, sources, I mean, is it, you know, possible or not, it is uh, ethical or not, it is legal or not, and here really we enter a, a, a landmine, I mean, because it's, it's really problematic.